Hello everyone, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus. Today we're going to be playing once again against Kalashnikov. And looks like he's bringing a stress team again, except this time he has an occultist. I'm pretty sure he had a crusader last time. Sound might be a bit, a bit too low. I'm going to set it just a touch higher. That should be fine. Wait, hang on. Narration volume. Let's bring that down a bit. Cinematic uh, sound effects volume. I'll bring that down too. Alright. Now it should be good. So we are gonna start off by uh, focusing down this Hound Master. It's his most important character, even though he still has an occultist. I feel like that's the best thing we can do. Probably gonna pull me right now. It's not a 100% chance. Uh, kind of is, if he gets a crit like that. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry. We are gonna... We're gonna sell off with just a bola. 6, 9, 15 damage total. Uh, that's not a very good outcome for us, but... It's okay, we'll be fine. So I'm gonna try and slam me now. I believe. And his team is kind of a good counter to mine, to be honest. Obviously, slamming my Crusader. It might not work. It might not work, does it? Yeah, okay, never mind. It doesn't have to move trinkets. Mm -mm -mm. You know what we could do right now? We could be real smart. Go for a stun here. A good Holy Lance is gonna kick his ass, essentially. Good Holy Lance that does a good amount of damage would indeed kick his ass. Gonna be a bit harder with a bellow, but don't worry. 11, 17. We do 17. Not bad. Almost enough to take him out. What's the best play now? Okay, this is really important because. Right now, he has a lot of actions to try and disrupt me, like he has this self-heal with the occultist, he has his own self-heal. We need to prevent his self-heal as well as putting him down to 0 HP. So the best way of doing that is just doing the come hither. This might sound weird because, well, we just used our finishing character, but it's the only choice we had, really. In my humble opinion. Do he goes for now. Oh, he's actually gonna go for a heal first. Oh my fucking... Oh, dude, of course he gets a 29. It's like maximum because of the crit. Jesus. And the way it goes your game plan, just like that. Oh my god. Okay, let's try and delay him. That is insane right now. Freaking insane. Yeah, he's not an idiot. Clicks his abomination. I mean, I don't have to finish him yet. Anymore, I mean. Really annoyed right now, man. Yeah, at least we don't move the Hound Master back. It's kind of what we don't want it to happen. We don't want it to have that happen. Gonna go for a Bellow first, probably. Yeah, there it is. You know, reducing my damage and... We really don't have, like, a perfect character to try and stun right now, but... I mean, it's a 60. Stun this Hound Master. Dixie, do we go for it? Let's try and stun the A1 instead. 75. Should get stunned. Jesus. Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. It does not answer. It's everyone. Well, there's no crits at least. Can't complain like too much. Get this done. What's he gonna go for? Clicks? Doesn't want, to get, doesn't want to let me get the uh, thingy. Get another ball. If you get a nice crit. Well struck. Oh, wrong character, but still good. So I'll knock anyone back. Interesting. What are you gonna try and do? 
the transform. Actually, gonna go for a beast smile. Question is, do I do 13 damage? Abusive, that's good, that's more damage. Nice. Probably the best affliction you can get in a situation like this. I think we'll go for that man at arms first. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful stun. What are you gonna go for now? Licks the man at arms first, making sure that he still has a heal ready for when I go after his A bomb. 615. Soldier boy, get him. Jump bounty hunter. There's a healing coming, hopefully, he doesn't get another 29. That is the plan, that is the hope, that is the dream. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't get a lot of damage even. It's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot, but come on, we need to do 14 right now. Ah, 10 to 18. Oh, we do 11. It's okay, a stunning bug can still fix it. Then he's gonna have like... Oh, he can still heal again, the bastard. Oh, this team that he has here is pretty freaking good. It's got so many defensive actions and shit. Good job. I'm not too sure what I should do, really. He's actually gonna click his men at arms. He goes for a bellow, so he kinda just loses a defender. Yeah, but the stress goes up, and the debuffs as well. Loses himself a defender, can I make something work with that? Now I go for a stun here. I still have two stuns and the attacker. The biggest problem here is I can't really stun the occultist because he's not a defender, he's a healer. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stun this abomination first. Sadistic. Well, at least it's not like a past chance or anything. We'll be fine. There's the second bust. I can go for either a heal or a guard. He's gonna go for a heal. It's not much. Oh my. Yeah, this is the problem with the occultist. That's why I call him the slot machine. Weird reconstruction can either roll for fucking 29, 21, or it can roll for like 0 and 3. So, good thing here is, I was about to say, uh, he's dazed and stunned so he could do a lot of damage, but we actually can't because we have Fearful and minus 60% damage, so it's gonna be pretty much impossible. But we do minimum. Yeah, look at our damage debuffs. Fearful is minus 25. Yeah. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Here comes the scary stress. Oh, we gotta dodge. Just one. Just one dodge. Go ahead and get a stun on his own master. Two. Not enough. Well, you know it will be enough. The bowler right now would actually probably be our saving grace. Yeah, check that out. It's looking pretty good. Let's try and do something to prevent it. Gonna self heal first. One! Finally! Not like a mega heal. Alright, let's go for probably a zealous. It's a lower hit chance. Let's go for this. Yeah, I know I'm stunning a stunned character, but I don't care. Now his only chance is to defend with uh, an arms if he doesn't want to lose his doggy. However, I have a trick up my sleeve, which is the abusive pestle. Come on, get him. Get that 80% stun. There we go. 
So he should be pretty much done for right now. Well, he still has that abomination. Is he gonna heal? He's gonna transform. Oh, please, no. Please don't get the slam. He gets the slam. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect, man. We get two death blows now. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't even need to drop Caldros. Look, number one. Now he acts with the Houndmaster. Oh, that is just beautiful. Yeah, and now I get to go again. Number one and number two. <laughs> oh, that is just nice. That is just freaking beautiful, man. You love seeing it. Abyssal artillery. I think it's the first one this round. Oh my! My uh, harvest is kind of screwed. Not gonna lie. Okay, we can clear the horror because of the Divine Grace. Yeah, look at that. He's doing better now. Not perfect, just better. Thinking we might just clear that damage debuff. Yes, I'm definitely not hitting these corpses. Both dead round 6. Yeah, he missed that slam because he was at death stall. Oh, the fearful affliction. I was complaining about it. Turned out being pretty good for us, didn't it? Uh, ah, where do I go for first? Probably the cultist. Yeah, ice damage. Nice, nice damage. I wonder what he's gonna go for right now. I would guard. Maybe a bellow, but he's gonna guard. Okay, though, right now I can just mark, and with the abusive, we are gonna have a bunch of damage. Actually, you could just stun the man at arms and then pull the occultist anyway. Yeah. Just pull the occultist and kill him or something. It's his turn. He's gonna go for a demon's pull. Almost like a guaranteed chance that he gets it. It's a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. I'm gonna pull the occultist into a stunning blow from the Crusader. Hopefully, hopefully we don't miss. There's a chance we miss, but hopefully we don't. That's enough. Yeah, and now he's screwed. So that one slam, that one slam, he was doing so well, so well this match. I don't care about that. Now we just go for this. And yeah, both of his characters are stunned, so next round we're just gonna see a finish him death blow. And everything is just Gucci. I click his occultist first. Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Your fault, no pass. Just death blows. We're gonna clear away some horror. The Divine Grace. Kind of a good ability clearing the horrors. Sometimes it can be really, 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 really good. It is being good right now. Right. And waiting. Yeah, that abusive damage is definitely helping us. I can lie. There isn't really anything at all that is good that we can do here. Maybe if we get a crit with uh, with the cells accusation on the corpses. Now it's just a matter of bellowing and he has a winning chance. I'm not gonna lie, but he has to get really, really fortunate with the afflictions. I mean really, really fortunate. I'm masochistic, so I probably want to watch out. I'm gonna try and just uh, stun him before he can cause any more havoc. I think that's the best choice I have right here. Maybe I should just go for a death blow first now he's marked. Death shot, I mean. 1221. Almost. The 
stun is an 80% chance. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. We aren't like one bell away from dying. <laughs> Not at all. Get that stun. Ah, oh, thank god. The 80%. That's still so strong. Let's heal. Death cannot be escaped. We'll be fine. Brot is gonna go away now as well, so it's just a matter of hitting him with the sniper shot. Please. Like, this is one Hound's Harry away from complete death, essentially. Such a close match, even though I'm gonna come out of this probably with all four characters. I'm gonna go for this first because if. You are experienced in the circus, you know that when they have that plus 10% death blow res, you wouldn't actually have a 100% death blow chance. But now we do. No. GG Galashnikov. Finish the game with a crit. Well played.